Yo, let's go. We're playing Kingdom Hearts. Wait, I don't I don't think Way Forward made Kingdom Hearts. Actually, I don't even think Capcom made Kingdom Hearts. Well, Scrooge is there. He was in Kingdom Hearts. So that's yeah, we're still playing Kingdom Hearts. That's fine. We're good. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. Might solve a mystery. Or rewrite history, DuckTales, wow wow, we're living in the database, database, just living in the database, wow wow. Tales of daring, do bad and good luck tales. D -d -d danger, watch behind you, there's a stranger out to find you. What to do, just grab onto some DuckTales, woohoo. Every day they're out there making DuckTales, woohoo. Tales of daring, do bad, and good luck tales, woohoo! Not pony tales or cotton tales, no duck tales, woohoo! But seriously, I don't think this is Kingdom Hearts. So, uh, the reboot is, I think, ending on Monday. Specifically, Monday. So, what better time to play the remastered DuckTales game based on the NES game? Uh, existing save data will be overwritten, excluding. Well, that's good that it excludes gallery unlocks. Yeah, we I testing stuff, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna play on medium. I wanna just kinda mention what the difficulties are here before getting into some more stuff, but uh basically uh, like uh, again this is NES, so it was made to be difficult. It's like a very short game that was just made to be difficult, so you'd have to kind of spend more time on it. Medium and hard have the life systems and easy doesn't. I also think easy, basically, you get, like, half health damage from enemies, but, like, you get full health with everything else. I'm gonna go with medium. Hopefully that'll be good and we won't run into too many issues. If we do, I should be able to rush through easy pretty easily. I, I think something bad might be happening. Oh my god, it's the beagles. There's so many of them. Cuss me, Kilts. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall, uh, <clears throat> get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the metal, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. So, uh... I've been trying to catch up to the reboot before it, like, actually ends, and... That makes it really difficult to... Listen to the voice acting for everyone here. Uh, that being said, cool thing about this game is they got at the very least, everyone they could to reprise their roles from the original TV series. That includes Scrooge's voice, which was one of the few things that he was able to voice before he actually died. Uh, Alan Young, I believe, was his name. We take over the whole place. Me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad. I'll save you. I think this is like his second to last time reprising his role as Uncle Scrooge. I think he played Uncle Scrooge in the Mickey Mouse show in like 2015. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry up, Scrooge. We might be in trouble. I'd say, too, on the reboot, good on them to not have the boys just sound like smaller Donald Ducks. Because that's 
I tried watching the original again, and that's a little bit of a rough one. I think there's illusionary walls in this game. Also, I can do that. I can just slam into things. For some reason, and I don't I don't know why they would do this. I don't know what Way Forward was thinking, but there's only really two buttons in this game. Like, come on guys, controllers have more than two buttons. But we basically just have Pogo and Secret. I think that would be a secret. We basically have Pogo and uh, Jump, and we can use the Pogo to kind of hit things. I think, I feel like there were more secrets that I saw here before. Like in here, there they are. Gotta find these secrets, we need money. Can stand on those treasure chests too. This is kind of a uh, design in a way of you might miss out on secrets if you just do something poorly, which I think is for replayability. Also, there is an option on normal for hard pogo to be on or off. That basically just means that hard pogo, you have to press the button every time to uh, continue the pogo jump, where easy, you can just hold it. I'm going to just go with easy because there are parts in this that I remember being really difficult to do pogo with. So this is mainly why we would do a golf ball swing here. It's just more convenient, and we're already playing on a harder difficulty, and I don't want to run into too many issues. Hey kid, you got a sandwich or something? Let me go, you big old bum! Not even for an afternoon snack. Big time in trouble, man. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Burger! That's what he wanted! He's dead now. I solved it. Good thing his name was Burger Beagle. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge! I did. Are you hunt one? Now, I'm fine, but I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand Beagle Boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. Also, I'm. Not positive, I can only assume that DuckTales was what originated the pogo jump. Which is a great mechanic. Real fun. I liked it a lot in Hollow Knight. And it's great fun here too, it's again mainly how we attack. Wait, ice cream? Secrets? No secrets. I don't know the- I never played the original NES game, so I don't know fully, uh, what was changed and what wasn't. Secrets. I know that this beginning level, this, like, tutorial level, didn't exist in the original. I think you just kind of went straight forward into levels. And also, like, any of these voice acted story segments didn't exist either. I don't know if we'll get kind of a bit of a hub area. Ooh, secrets. Okay, we're a little bit bigger than a block. More secrets. I found them all. And I think probably in the original, you only wanted to get money for like high scores, which is to be expected for older games because it's, you know, trial and error in combat and also just trying to get a score up. Oh, we got bonus. I probably shouldn't have done that. See, so this is the kind of thing where, like, because I hit that, I can't get this one. I could have totally jumped on that. So we gotta be careful or else we'll miss out. Although, that respawn, I wonder if the ball words. Yeah, we did it! Solving it. Getting the money. But, like, uh, instead of just being for high scores, you can buy, like, gallery stuff for it. Uh, for the, um, gallery itself. You can just buy gallery items now, which is nice. Hurry up, the Scrooge! They're headed for your office! Hold on, lad. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, Big Duck. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, Tilt. 
One false move and I'm a roast duck. Leave me a scrooge. It's not worth it. None well, Louie's gonna die. Watch out for lasers. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. If only, ah, if only I knew how buttons worked. I didn't watch out for lasers. Ah! I'm gonna die here. Because I'm trying to go too fast. I solved it. Almost got myself killed. We almost got them all. A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. He's one of those beagle boys. He's coming right at me. Killed him. Killing all the beagles. Also, a lot of these crystals, well, gems, are just kind of invisible. So it's not so easy finding them. Could use some health, maybe. Just a little bit. Would like some... Okay. Wait. Secret. Oh, yeah, boy. I got cake. I remember the first time I played this, I really struggled. Which is why I think I actually switched to easy mode. Step away from me, fortune. Lives are scary. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, snap, he has a helmet. You ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. I can't win. Helmets are too powerful. Oh, shoot. That is not what I expected from that. But I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm, I'm solving it. That's what I expected. When I practiced for a minute, it seemed like the globes always were a high throw. But I think I practiced on easy mode and decided not to. Go! Oh, I was not even watching. I was distracted. It's fine. We beat the boss. We won. Game over. This ain't the last you'll see of me. Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Brigadoon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one very ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. Wow, that's crazy. Moon, moon? It looks that way. There's a moon in this game? <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Uh, so here's our little base of operation. Uh, again, I don't know. I'm assuming we just kind of go through the levels normally in the NES version, but I don't think we had something like this. We can choose whatever we want here. It's not like Mega Man where you get abilities or anything. It's just choose the ones. I'll probably just go in the order that it shows. I think over here is like the vault. Where if we look, we can kind of see like the gems that we've collected. I think, like, all of the items we collect in levels will be there as well. But other than that, there's really no point in this room. I don't really know. It's cool, I guess, to have as, like, vault, but whatever, it's fine. And then here we can see the gallery. And I was kind of hoping that 
we would be able to get stuff. Like, I bought this stuff when I did the test because I didn't have my old save, which is a shame because that would have helped a lot. But, um, yeah, we just buy characters, and I guess we unlock this stuff by buying more character unlocks. So let's just buy spoilers. Here's everyone that shows up. Like a bee. And I don't have money. But that's mainly the use for money in this, which is a, you know, a good way to kind of do that for an old game like this. Make the points worth a little bit more than just points. The boys are gone. They left. They had enough. But yeah, I'm going to just go in order. We'll start at the Amazon. On to adventure. Oh, they're here. They, they returned. Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. Launchpad's voice really screwed me up. I'm too used to the one from the reboot. Everyone else is kind of fine. I can accept Huey, Louie, and Dewey being the way they are. Because I guess I'm used enough to it from like Kingdom Hearts and other instances of them showing up. That it's not a big deal if they don't sound like Abed from Community. Well, one of them. Thanks for the lift, Launchpad. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, Launchpad. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquack himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. So we should be... I feel like the startup of the song almost sounds like it's getting ready to be Destiny Island. Kind of throws me off. I also hate when enemies always spawn off screen and they just never stop. Little monkey fellows aren't too bad, huh? Leave me alone. Launchpad, I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. Scrooge, that was a response. I just wish the enemies didn't keep spawning. It bothers me all the time. Ow, snake! I thought I dodged that good. Apparently I didn't dodge it good enough. Uh, so I think on harder difficulties we don't actually have a map. Actually, I think easy mode just unlocks the full map for us. I'm invincible. Can't stop me now. Go up here. Found secrets. I believe the setup for most of these levels tend to just be go find a couple of things in a pretty, like, roundabout map. Another coin! And this one has an inscription of an eagle. And then we can uh, progress to the next point at the uh, end. So there's like the skull, which is, you know, a boss at the end of the level. But we still have to collect all of these dots that are shown on the minimap. Ah, uh, this was scummy. One thing that kind of sucks is you can't really do the uh, golf swing to deal with enemies. Also, these bees are all over the place. And I think we can't pogo on the plants. A coin bearing the image of the queen's horse. Ha, it'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McD. I also think that normal and easy difficulty have, like, different checkpoint systems 
but I'm not positive on how that works entirely. I think it's just like off-screen kind of stuff, like you move on to the next screen. Will work as a checkpoint in itself. Bees. Kill the gorilla. They don't deserve to live. Bees. Yeah. It's just more convenient, in my opinion, to not have to worry about, um... To not have to worry at- ooh, cake. Worry at all about actually pressing the pogo button. A coin showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Secrets? I don't know if I have to even hit the wall. I'm pretty sure there's invisible walls. I just don't know how they work. So I think, like, transitioning to this screen is a checkpoint in itself. Look at this! An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McDee. What is it, Launchpad? Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> well, that's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters, or the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. Last time I asked you for help. Is that a promise? Scrooge is a bit more sassy than he is in the reboot. Gotta make him a bit nicer. Oh. Moving a little too fast. Um. So I think if the problem with the auto hop is we can kind of. Because there's spikes up there, we need to kind of unhop early. Yeah, if we unhop early, we can kind of avoid that, but. I think it's going to be a little bit more troublesome. Like that. It's difficult. I am not great at timing these. Might be part of why I want to... Ah, I nailed it! Might be part of why I want to keep the auto hop on, so I don't have to worry about timing too much. I didn't even need that ice cream, because I'm too good at games. I'm too good at games. Want to get that before. I think I can uh, do the golf swing to hit those chests open. The ruling might of a spear. He's oh, dead. God. What was that? Um, uh, nothing, boss. I'm sure nobody was using that tree anyway. Uh, except maybe them. And them. And the animals from them. Well, we lost launch pads. Who turned off the lights? What'd you say? Is that like, who turn off the lights? Oh, come on. That's upsetting. I didn't think I would jump high enough to hit that spike. More ice cream? Thank you. <laughs> exactly when I needed it. It's like they knew, oh, spider killed me. I'm gonna die. I'm out of life. I made a terrible mistake. want to make sure I'm pogoing. Alright, we got our health back. See, it's all working to help. Look at this one. It shows a shield. You know, I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique. They don't look unique, though. They all look the same. They don't even have the actual encryption that you say there is. Can I? Oh, secrets? I found a better secret. Let's go. Last one I'll find, probably. Actually, it might be best for me to not spend money on the gallery, at least not yet, because I think the money bin actually gets bigger with the amount of money you actually have in, like, reserves. Uh, so yeah, I think now we just have to continue forward. Yeah! 
Ooh, I don't know the best way to jump on that. I guess wait for a B. <laughs> that was a little difficult. I was up here before. I was. I don't think anything really respawns on those. Wait for that B to pass. Oh, damn. I'm gonna die because I made a mistake. Beep. We're good. Gorilla. The way that gorilla hops is gonna cause. Po oh, gorilla's dead. Kinda wish that uh, birthday cake would respawn. Bees! We're good. More bees? Guess I can't really get up from there. Uh, hopefully something here has ice cream. Yeah, we can just open it like that. Aha! This coin bears an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. Hello, Mr. McGee. I had a thought. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? All the time. Why? <laughs> Poor Launchpad. Oh, let's try to avoid unnecessary damage, because we do not have a lot of health to actually deal with any of that. Alright, so we just needed the items for this, and then, then we can progress pad, forward. I found something. There's a carving of Monkle Cupquack on this stone slab, and there's eight secular notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I've found will fit perfectly into those notches. Oh, you must have come across an ancient... Gotta solve the puzzle now. Figure out where to put the coins. I come down there and you deal me in for a hand. You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right. Trouble spotting it is. Launchpad. What if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Monko Kapwak's Yeah, solve the puzzle, empire. figure out where to put the coins. Maybe if I surround him with them. Put the scythe there. Oh, okay, I solved the puzzle. Oh, no. It's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. Maybe magic words were the magic words. We found him. There he is. Will you look at that? The ancient city of Manco Capquac. And that beam of light. It must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McD. Do I have to chase you down? Oh, no, you're just flying right here. I thought he was going to just keep moving. Bees? Okay, we're good. More bees? So what these pla Oh! Oh, he stops. Okay. I guess they're just here for bonus gems. I don't know if I want to risk it. Bees? Okay. <laughs> I thought that bee was going to get me. I don't know if I really want to risk it. I think a uh, pit like that might be instant death. Get a little bit of bonus gems there, though. See, we're good. We made it. No risk. I found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. I need bonus right here. I mean, it just seems like any corner is where bonus will be, so gotta check them. We need to get a high score. Get me up. Can I climb? Yeah, secrets. Secret master. Can I get further? Actually, wait a minute. No, I cannot. Secret cake. I assume there would be lives around. I'm kind of worried about that. They might be just really rare. Ha ha! More money for me, 
money. Found good money, though. What is going on up here? Oh, that's what's going on. Oh. So, stuff like that is where I can't imagine trying to... Okay, leave me alone. That, like, really small hallway is where I can't imagine trying to actually... Pogo with, like, button taps. Because it's very narrow. Oh. Hello, how did you get in here? Mrs. Bigley, what are you doing here? Why, I'm seeing that you get a proper meal, Mr. McDuck. Okay, she's just throwing it at me? That's a lot. Oh, I'm guessing that's a life. Gold, Mrs. Bigley. Look at uh, that weird if you'll pardon the expression. Scrooge doll oh, thing. Course. But I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. Also a bit rude of Scrooge to imply she was fat. Yeah, one up. Let's go, baby. Okay, can't come over there. Oh, you throw spears at me. That's rude. Oh, secret. Gotta book it. What's up with you? Let's see if there's a secret here. Oh, I found it. Big secret. Like I said, any corner is probably something. Oh, I'm glad I got that cake. Alright, things are falling. Oh, oh, ah, I missed the chest. I shouldn't have kept running. It's fine. Don't worry about it. There was probably a safe spot where the things weren't falling, but I got a little scared. Shot for you. Can I... No, I can't hit from down here. The way I was able to hit one of the rocks before made me think I'd be able to. I think also a lot of these times when I take hits, I need to just be patient, and that maybe will avoid issues. Secret. Found it. Secret master. Oh, come on. That was rude. So the way they hop up platforms kind of throws me off. I'm dying. I might actually die here. Trying to play it a little safe now because I'm scared. Got health back. I'm okay. Kind of... I see that. Secret? Okay, so you don't have to... You don't have to actually hit the secret walls, but I was right. There are secret walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, this gives you the health stuff. I, um... Believe that those don't exist on harder difficulties. Easy and normal is where you can get health upgrades, and I think there's one in each level, so I'm gonna look for them. But uh, hard and I think there's a even harder difficulty that you unlock after you play hard. You don't get anything. You, I think it's like bonus money if you find those secrets. <gasps> the scepter. There it is the king's scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Gasp. It's a trap. Catch me, kilts. What was that? It's a face. Uh. Okay, he jumps. Just gotta be a little careful. Yeah, that looks like a... That looked like a super jump kind of thing. Now what? Oh, alright. That's fine. I can, I can handle... Blocks moving. I don't know if there were bosses in the original. I really should have maybe checked the original. To see if there's anything. Because I would be interested in knowing... Uh, some of the changes. 
but I'm not actually, like, sure about any of them. I kind of stopped pogoing when I, when he, like, shakes the ground, but at least I didn't, like, get hit. Like, this boss doesn't seem like it would be something, oh, that would work with the NES, so I don't know if there were actually bosses in the levels or not. Oh, that's... Okay, I got hit. Yeah, that was a uh, shockwave. I expected it. You know, it's kind of messed up that all these bosses don't have three health. Or, like, three rounds. That we're still going. Jump! Ah! It's kind of a close one. Scared. Okay, I wasn't sure the timing on that. Hey, we did it. It seems like they had four. I think the Beagle Boy had four rounds to him. Hurry, Mr. McTee! This place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, Launchpad. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary fact. I mean, you guys were throwing spears at me earlier, so I kind of uh, got the well, wrong impression. Well, you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McDee? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan king! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. Why do they still look angry at me? After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Stage clear. Let's get out of here. Thankfully, I haven't died yet, so extra health definitely helped. I think on hard mode, you start with two hearts as well. I think that was my problem, is I tried to start with hard mode, and I couldn't get past the first level. The, like, Beagle Boy is attacking the vault. And then I just kind of gave up and went, like, yeah, just easy. I'll come back to it later on a harder difficulty, and then I never did.